why I say I like things a lot when I'm doing haul videos. Like, of course I like them a lot. I purchased them and they're here in my house and I'm showing them to you. Of course I like them. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a huge home decor haul and I've been saving this stuff for over a year now because we're getting ready to move into a new house and I've just been kind of collecting things here and there as I find them because I'm the kind of person, as you might already know, but I much prefer going to like thrift stores or antique malls or flea markets or yard sales or stuff like that to find pretty much anything, clothing, decor, really anything that I can, rather than go to like a Target or a Home Goods to buy things like that. Just because I love finding things that I know not many people, if anybody else, has them in their home or... You know, I love thinking like, oh, I wonder where this is from, or, you know, when things are antique or vintage. I don't know, I just really love it. And I kind of have a weird style or, I don't know, I guess you'll see it when I show you everything and you'll probably find like a little trend with some of the things, but I don't know. I, I like to find things that I really love and that really catch my eye and I would much rather find them at a thrift store. So that's where I'm pretty sure everything that I have here is from. I don't think anything here I have bought new. If I come across anything and I'm wrong, I will correct myself, but if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure everything I bought secondhand. But I have a lot of stuff, like I said, and I'm sitting on my floor because it's all just kind of sitting around me. So I want to jump right into this video so it doesn't get too long. Before I do that, make sure you check out my description before you go because I'll have lots of stuff linked down there like my social media and just other links to stuff. Um, I'm not really going to be able to link any of this stuff, which is weird for me because I usually try to link the stuff that I talk about, but like I said, I find it at thrift stores and I don't really know where I would find all of this stuff. But I'm sure you could eBay things or Google things if you're really interested in to maybe find something similar. But, like I said, just check it out anyway. There's probably going to be some stuff down there. And if you want, maybe subscribe to my channel because I put out videos like this pretty regularly. I love thrift store stuff, so if you like that kind of stuff too, definitely come and join me because I talk about thrift stores probably a little too much. But, anyway, um, yeah, before I make this video an hour long, like some of my other videos, I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in and start showing you all of this fun stuff. But I could have been probably a little bit more organized with my laying out, but I was not. So let's just see how this goes. Okay, so my first item, I guess I'll kind of talk about my, I don't know, my categories or my trends that I tend to go towards as I come across them. So let's see, what's the first thing I want to talk about? Right out of the way, I really love oil lamps and little lanterns. Um... I find them all over the place. I don't buy all the ones I find, just ones that really catch my eye. Like this one is pink and just has some um, designs down the side. You'll, you will definitely see a trend with the oil lamps. I'm just letting you know. Hopefully I will not talk about them as long as I had this one in my hand, but I'm just saying you're going to see several oil lamps. Okay, so my next thing. I guess I will show you this marble container. Right now I have pens in it, but it's just because I had it sitting up here on my bookshelf and I just keep pens in it because that's what's convenient for it right now, but it's super heavy. It's marble, white marble, like just with the typical black marbling in it. Like I said, super heavy and it's very, be I don't know, it's beautiful. I love it and I, like I said, I can't remember where I got it. Secondhand somewhere. I'm not going to mention that with everything or at least I'm going to try not to because I think you guys get it. I bought it all secondhand, but I love this. I love, I'm going to go ahead and mention, I just love like natural things like marble and stone and wood and metals and just natural fibers. And you'll definitely see a lot of all of those things in the things I'm about to show you. Okay. So my next thing are these little, you know, I don't even know. Like, are they pot holders? Somebody tell me. If you know exactly what these are, please tell me. I actually just got these the other day. But they each have different flowers on them. And they are like a, like a straw weave. They're all different. But I thought they'd be cool, like, on a table or sitting up on, like, above a counter space or a cabinet space, I mean. Or 
I don't know. Like, I'm thinking maybe, like, on the table as, like, placemats for decoration. I don't know what I'll do with them yet. But that's kind of what I thought of when I saw them. So, like I said, if you know exactly what they are or if that is what they are, please let me know down in the comments because I would love to hear it. Same with anything. Like, if you have opinions or if you have something that I have, I would love to hear it. Or if you have something similar, I would love to hear it. Or find me on my social media. That's even better. Like, find me on Instagram and send me pictures of stuff that you have that you think I would like. I love looking at pictures and stuff like that. So, anyway, yeah. I got all four of these for 50 cents a piece, so definitely not bad. Then the next thing I have is this copper teapot. You will see a lot of copper in this haul. I don't know why, but I just, every time I find something, I'm like, I have to have that. I just thought this was so cute. I won't be spilling any tea today, as the YouTubers say. But yeah, I just thought it was really cute. Got the wooden handle, not much else I can say. Still has like the little cork. It's probably still usable. It's not, it doesn't seem like it's very old. It's got a little weathering on it, but it's still very cute. Then the next thing I have is this little metal bicycle. The wheels actually spin and the hand, oh, I thought the handlebar moved, but it does not. <laughs> anyway, the wheels spin. I have, I've actually had this for a while, but I loved it too much not to put it in here because I've never talked about it before. Some of these things I have had for probably a couple years, but I love them too much not to talk about them. And the, yes, this is kind of like a haul of things that I've gotten recently, but it's also like just a decor video about things that I plan on putting in my house or things that I enjoy. But yeah, I just thought this was super cute. And then the next thing is this oil lamp. Again, again, another one. My boyfriend actually found this in a, um, what is it? An, an abandoned camper that they were tearing down with his job. And he went in and found this and brought it home to me and I love it so much so grateful because it's super cute and um not a lot of my oil lamps have the shade on them just because they either didn't come with them or they've broken whatever i don't mind it doesn't bother me if they don't have the shade but this one does so that's cool and then the next things that i have are these three little like copper butterflies so there are three different sizes this is a small the medium and the large and the way i have them i actually have them obviously not right now because they're not on my wall but I had them like up here in the corner of my wall um, actually with this mirror that I will go ahead and kind of show you now um, like I said it's just a mirror with like kind of like the same tone around it and I had this on my wall and I had these like tucked in behind this is a mess tucked in behind the mirror just it kind of looked like they were flying out of the top of the mirror I think it's super cute and I took it down just to show you guys I hadn't it hasn't been up on my wall for very long but I can't wait to put it up in my house okay and then the next thing I have is just this little tray like looks like something you'd put on like your coffee table or like your desk to put stuff in I don't know but it looks like a piece of tin to me that somebody put some kind of sealant over to make this like pink blue duo shift color to it I don't know I just thought it was cute and it was 10 cents at a thrift store and I thought eh, that's kind of my alley because I go for pinks and metals and it was just calling my name for 10 cents especially so I got that and then another thing I feel like I have to like put a side note with everything at first but I don't know if I ever mentioned this but I collect like figurine turtles and I have since I was young there's probably a couple back here you probably can't see them I have several just hanging out in my room and I have tons more there a lot of them are still in a box just because I don't have anywhere to display them right now but um, I have a couple here that I want to show you that I've gotten recently or that I really like so this one it's wooden and it's like a little container that you open with like a lid and I don't know I just thought he was super cute and I almost I thought I remember where I got this but I guess I do not but yeah anytime I see a turtle like if I'm just going to a thrift store or antique mall or anything like that just to like look around, the only thing I'm really ever looking for, unless I have something specific in mind, but if I'm just going to browse, I always keep my eye out for turtles and now my boyfriend does too and when people like my family go on trips, they bring me back figuring turtles and it's kind of like a thing of mine and it has been since I was young. 
I've been thinking about doing like a video of all of my turtles and I don't know if anybody would be interested in that but it'd be something that I'd be passionate about so I kind of want to make it regardless of whether or not people like it anyway I have another turtle sitting right here so I'm just going to show you him as well he is actually hand painted I found him at an antique mall recently in in the bottom it has a 96 carved into it with somebody's initials so it's handmade so that means one of a kind and I absolutely love that like absolutely ideal he has this cute little tail and his cute little face and I don't know I love stuff like this because nobody else has it somebody made this with their hands and then got rid of it and I'm glad that he found a home with me so I actually I'll just go ahead and show you another turtle I have this it's like a cheese grater and it has like a little hook to hang and I thought this was so cool I typically only go for like the little figurines like I don't go for like pictures or stuffed animals or stuff like that it's really just like little decorative stuff but this was just too cool not to pass up like this stuff I kind of like but like I said like pictures and pillows and stuff and I don't know, little stuffed animals, it's not really my thing. I typically like stuff like this or little figurines that I can put on a shelf. But how cute is that? And when have you ever seen a cheese grater shaped like a turtle? I don't know, but I love him so much. My next item is this little metal tray with a floral design on it. Just super cute. I don't know where I would put it right now or what I would do with it. But I love it. I thought it was beautiful. I love the black with the bright colors. It stood out to me and I got it. I think I paid like 50 cents for this at a, like an antique or at a flea market. So not bad at all. My next thing is another oil lamp. It is like a navy blue. I'm always a sucker for navy blue and oil lamps, you know, whatever. And it's actually from Lamplight Farms. I actually looked this up and this is actually a kind of a unique one. If you want to look it up, you can. I'm not going to go too into detail, but um, a lot of the ones I have still have the wick in them. None of them have the oil in them. I can put oil in them if I chose to, but none of them have it in it now. But yeah, I just thought this one was really cool. And um, for a while I was doing a lot of like navy blue uh, like details in my house. The next thing I have is another turtle. It is like a tin little bobblehead. He is vintage and my boyfriend actually got him for me at, I don't know. An antique, or yeah, an antique mall somewhere. He found him, and he's like, "Oh, look at him!" And I had never seen one before. And then a couple weeks later, we went to another antique mall and found the same one still in the box. And it was very hard for me to go home without him. But I got this one, and I love it. And I would have probably taken it out of the box anyway. I have another turtle. I'm going to show you right away, just because I had them sitting on this little tray that's right in front of me. Um, this is an ashtray. Obviously, I do not use it as one. But it's just very cute, and there's like a little slot in his mouth for um, like a book of matches. And actually, I think he's handmade too. I actually think this one's handmade as well. It has somebody's initials and a date scratched into the bottom. That's so cool. I did not know that. And then the next thing sitting in front of me, a little different, but it is this tray. It has like a hanger fixed to the back of it. There is like a little information card on the back. It was made in England and it is just this beautiful scene and it's it's like shops and people walking and I'm not actually sure what that says either but it even says down here made in Great Britain I thought this was so cute it's like an off-white with like I said all these colors it would look so beautiful and I love that it already had the hanger I didn't know that when I walked up to it I even thought like oh that'd be really pretty hanging on a wall I walked up to it at a yard sale it had a 50 cent tag on it and I was sold right then but then I saw the hanger and I was like, ooh, that's perfect. And then the next things that I have are these two copper signs. This one says tomato and this one says artichoke. And they obviously have tomatoes and artichokes on them. And they have the little hangers. Each one has one of these little, um, like, hanger hoops up here. And I thought those would be really cute, like, in a kitchen, obviously. Or maybe not obviously, but in a kitchen maybe with something hanging in between it. Or maybe, like stacked on top of each other like that maybe with some greenery in the middle like a fake vine kind of like what I had back here now that you can see it right now but I don't know I thought that these would just be really cute and I actually I can't believe I didn't get it the other day I was at a thrift store and I found a round one with a rose on it it was like this but just round 
And I was like, mm, do I really need it? And I left without it, and I have not been able to stop thinking about it, and I kind of want to go back and see if they still have it. You know, the copper thing right up my alley, right? Anyway, the next thing I'm going to show you is kind of a little different, but it is um, an old tin, and it is a pipe and cigarette tobacco tin. It still has, like, the seal on it, and it's in really good condition. To be honest with you, I have no idea how old it is. I just love, like, the bright red. And oh, I was wondering why it smells so good, but I forgot I had this inside of it just for storage purposes. It's like a navy blue and floral container. And I actually have a pink candle in here that I got from Target on sale. It just smells super good, and I love the pink. Like I said, if you know how old this is, I'm sure I could look it up and find it. But if you want to let me know, go ahead and let me know, like, on my Instagram or down below in the comments. Yeah, I just thought it was really cool, and for a while, I, like, started to collect old tins, but I was like, I collect too many things, I need to stop. At, like, at one point, it becomes not collecting, and it becomes junk and hoarding, so I had to ease back, and I downsized, and this is one of the ones that I kept just because I really liked it. Okay, so the next thing is another little oil lamp. I know it's getting a little ridiculous, but hold your pants, because I have more. <laughs> Um, but this one's just really cute and small and I love the little handle on it and there's like fruit <laughs> what is that embossed when it's poking out or I don't know but there's like fruit on it I don't know if you would oh yeah you can kind of see them Ooh, oh man this is one of my favorite things that I've ever found and I didn't even know it existed until I found it but it is like my favorite and there were several there but the woman was asking so much for them and I couldn't bring myself to buy more than one. So I bought my favorite. But it is like a match holder. Um, the woman joked with me and told me that it was probably several years older than me. And I said, yes, I figured. <laughs> but um, I actually don't know when it's from. I haven't done a whole lot of research on it at all. But it comes or it came with like a bag, a very old bag of old matches. And um, my boyfriend gave me the idea to put it next to our wood stove, like hang it on the brick wall behind our wood stove. And I thought that would be really cute. Um, but yeah, it's just got like this floral um, like design on the front. And it's got like the hanger. And I guess like you take the matches out of the bag and let them fall down here. But I just thought this was so cute and so little. And I love metal and it was just love at first sight. I walked away without getting it and I had to walk it was a 14 mile yard sale and I walked away without getting it and I had to go back because I just needed it. My next item is this bowl, just, I guess it's a gold and it's got lots of designs on the inside, lots of cutouts, it's got the base. Um, I don't know what it was used for, what it was made for, but I think it would be cool to put like, I don't say like fruit, but it's kind of small to be a fruit bowl, don't you think? I don't know. But either way, I think it's cute. I don't exactly know what I'm going to do with it yet or where I'm going to put it, as with most of these things, but I liked it and I thought it was beautiful, so it came home with me. And then the next thing I have is this, like, um, I think it's like a, what is that called? Ceramic? Yeah, it's like a ceramic iron. It's got lots of detail on it. It's got hand-painted flowers on the front with somebody's initials. And there's like a hole in the top and I thought it would be really cute to put like fake flowers in or anything like that or to have like a fake vine coming out of it on like a shelf. So then the next thing I have is this blue oil lantern and this is probably one of my absolute favorites like of all time. It's one of the only ones that doesn't actually have the wick in it anymore but the color and the detail on it is just so beautiful and on the bottom it says made in Hong Kong and I don't know, it just stands out wherever you put it and I don't have to really go into much more detail because it is what it is. I love oil lamps, I love the blue, and it's just absolutely beautiful. Anyway, the next thing I have is another little like copper, gold, actually it's gold, the gold tray. This one's cool because it's like a deep, like a deep dish one. I actually had this on my coffee table at one point and I put like remotes in it. Um, but it's got like pineapples on the side, which I thought was kind of funky. It's got the handles and it says made in India on the bottom. So like I said, if anybody knows what this stuff was made for, please let me know. The inside has seen better days. It has, it looks like it had something hot glued in it at one point, 
but I don't mind. Like I said, I had like remotes in it. I can always like cover the bottom with some kind of fabric or whatever, but it was really cool. And then the next thing I have is this floral colorful, floral colorful bowl. And it is just pink and purple and blue. And it says made on China at the bottom. It says not for food use. I thought it was beautiful because it had like gold detail. I don't know if you can really tell, but the rim of it is gold and like there are leaves in between the flowers that are like a gold foil. And then the next thing I have is this little a cup, a pot. I'm not really sure, but the lid comes off and it's got like holes in the lid. So again, please, if you know what this is from or what it's for, please let me know. It has like little gold handles with the copper body and a little gold um, plate here. It says apple jack and peel. And yeah. And then the next thing I have is this just pink rose uh, plate. I, I hope I didn't show you guys this already. If I did, sorry. But I thought this was really pretty. Again, something I'd put in Amelia's room when I was decorating it, the pink and blue and gold. But I just thought it was really cute. And even when I got rid of a bunch of stuff, I kept this just because I love roses. I have a pink rose literally tattooed on my arm. <laughs> so this is kind of right up my alley. And then the next thing I have is one of my, again, one of my favorite things I've probably ever found. I found this at a, again, the 14 mile yard sale. And it is this old piece of wood. It's got like the lat like the lattice and where like where it went to like the rest of the box. Um, I assume it was like a wooden crate of some kind at one point, but it says Atlas Power Co. Wilming Wilmington, Delaware. USA high explosives dangerous and then it has like the code down here but I thought that was super cool I could put like a hanger on it kind of like that um that tray that has the hanger that goes across the back I feel like that would be really easy to just put on here with these and just hang it on the wall or like put it on a shelf and just sort of lean it I don't know I think this is so cool super unique and and then the next thing I have is another oil lamp. This one's actually cool because it has like a hanger that goes with it that you can attach to the wall and then this sits in like the little groove here and holds it onto the wall. And I actually got this from the people that we are buying the house from that we're about to move into. They had all like a trailer full of like old furniture and stuff and I found this in there and I asked them if I could have it and they told me yes yeah. so uh, it came home with me of course but I love it and I think it would be really cool Ooh. I forgot that that comes off <laughs> I thought it would be really cool to like hang on the wall or just to sit on a shelf I feel like I say that about everything I'm gonna have lots of shelves full of lots of things at the rate I'm going but anyway the next thing I have I'll go ahead and show you because it's right in the background it's just this bright yellow um, enamel plate, so it is metal. Um, but yeah, I, I got it for like 10 cents. Actually, the guy made me a deal. He threw a couple things in, all for a dollar. But I don't know. I thought it would be really cool to put stuff on. <laughs> I don't know. When I see stuff and I like it, I just, and I, I don't know, I have like a vision for it, but it's hard to explain. You'll have to see it one day. Maybe when I get my house all decorated, I can like show you guys how I decorated it and you can recognize some of the stuff I'm talking about. I have a couple things in this and then I'll show you. So this is something that I've really been loving too. Probably again one of the coolest things I've ever found. Again at that 14 mile long yard sale. But I call it my um, my gun saw because it has like um, like a, a handgun style handle but it is a hand saw and like you can un screw this part and the blade comes out so you can replace it it's just like a little hand saw and i thought it was really neat i'd never seen anything like it and it's still got some orange paint on the bottom that's coming off and i just thought it looked really cool and then i got i'm gonna go ahead and show you both at the same time i got two little copper cups well i think this one's more gold this one actually says seagram on it like the alcohol brand but I'll probably, you know, turn that away when I use it to de use it to decorate with. Actually, I bet you that pink candle that was in that container that smelled really good would probably fit in this. That's a good idea. I might do that. Anyway, and then I have, like, this just little copper cup. Again, um, little candles, and it has, like, this cool symbol on the bottom. I don't know what it means. Maybe I'll have to look it up. I don't know if you can really see it on there. My next two items, more oil lamps. Big surprise. But these are a set, and they have... As you go around, they were, oh, well, this is a good spot to show you. They were red and green, but they have since, you know, 
faded and wore off and that's okay it makes me love them even more on metal stands they both still have their wicks i love like the dark glass too and then i'll go ahead and show you what i believe to be my last oil lamp of the haul i know sad and heartbreaking right but anyway it looks like this you can kind of see the rainbow in it on camera which i'm really glad about i wasn't sure if you were going to be able to see that but that's really what sold me on it it was really cheap i'm just a sucker for oil lamps and rainbows and colors and all that good stuff so i went ahead and grabbed that and then i have just another metal tray this one's much larger in space has the handles with the flowers on them which i thought was a really cool detail Again, on the bottom, this is made in India, so apparently a lot of these things are made in India. Please, if these are made for something specific, let me know. I would love to know or hear some stories about these. But yeah, I just thought it was really cool to sit. Like right now, I have, I'll show you guys this if I remember, but this is something that I have this and then my makeup brush holder that I want to show you guys before I end this video. Um, don't, let, don't let me forget, okay? <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I just like that a lot. I don't know why I say I like things a lot when I'm doing haul videos. Like, of course I like them a lot. I purchase them and they're here in my house and I'm showing them to you. Of course I like them a lot. Anyway. I got this clock. Oh my god, I have a ton of stuff left. Oh my god, I need to get moving. Um, I got this clock and it has the humidity and the temperature on it and again i just love the copper i thought it looked really kind of nautical almost with the different dials on it um these two gauges work the actual clock does not it has a pretty modern um like clock thing on the back i think i could have somebody look at it and fix it for me but i just haven't got around to it it was only a dollar and i think it'd be really cute even if i don't get it to work I might not hang it up if I don't get it to work, but it would still look really cute even if it didn't work. Anyway, the next thing I have is this basket. It's about yay tall, not that you can really tell, but it's just like wicker. Is that wicker? Yeah, I don't know. Really cool and odd and shaped weirdly, and I love that. I feel like I could like roll up a throw blanket and sit it next to a um, like a couch, or I could even make it like a fancy trash can. <laughs> like just put a bag in it and make it a trash can, or. I don't know if you have any ideas or I could put oh that's what I thought of first like a house plant get like a um like a big base for like a house plant not a base but like a pot for a house plant and put this like next to a couch or in the corner and it would be like a cute cover for a house plant along with that kind of theme like the house plant theme I have this oh I think it goes this way it is a um like a holder for a plant what do you call that like a macrame holder for a plant it's got like the wooden beads on it the only thing i don't like about it is i don't know if you can tell yeah i don't think you can see it but it is like the fibers are falling off of it i think it'll be fine once i get it hung up and i'm not like touching it but i have to be really gentle with it because the fibers are like all over the place when i touch it like oh my god yeah that's probably why somebody took it to a thrift store <laughs> not to be mean to it but like I said, I think once I get it hung up, it'll be okay and it won't move around and shed so much. The next thing is kind of strange, kind of odd, but it is a bread box and it has all kinds of different either herbs. Yeah, chives, tarragon, uh, parsley, dill, rosemary, sage. I actually found this on eBay because I needed a bread box and I really wanted like a vintage one or like a metal one or something cool and I couldn't find one at a thrift store like I looked for a while and never found one so I found this on eBay and it just opens up like a regular bread box and I love it I don't know I guess some people might think it's too beat up for them but I love it and I love the like wear mark from where it opens up I, I just love that and I lied I have more oil lamps I'm sorry these are the two last ones also got these on eBay very cheap got them as a set they hang on the wall you can um, hang them through the little hang hole back there and they're meant to ooh, not do that but you can either either sit them like straight like this and have them sitting up or you can have them hang on the wall like this and again the oil lamps the the copper right up my alley in always so i really like those i think they'd be cute like on two ends of a shelf or i keep saying stuff like that anyway they're cute we get it the next thing I have is this little hanging clock. 
I offered the woman 50 cents for it and she took it. It still works. It still ticks. And I don't know. I just thought it was really cute. It's got like the metal ring details and the metal around there and the wood. I don't know. I just thought it would be really cute somewhere. Obviously. Why do I keep saying that? Of course it's going to be cute. Anyway, this is a little metal basket with little rosettes on the side. I thought again, like it'd be cute to put like a planter in it. Um, or, I don't know. Like, yeah, that's kind of the idea I had for it. If you have any other ideas for anything like this, let me know. Because as of right now, that's kind of what I plan on doing, is putting, like, a planter in it just to kind of like, fancy up the pot that it's in. But, yeah. This next thing I have is a wooden bowl with hand-painted, like, um, folk art-looking flowers in it. And I'm Polish, and so I love anything that looks like Polish folk art. I have a... This is going to be weird. But I have a Polish folk art flower on my hip. So yeah, I really like stuff like this. And again, the wood right up my alley. And then I have a, another wood dish. This has like a little ledge here, and then you can put things in here. Actually, right now, I flip it over, and my DVD player, or like my Blu-ray player, sits on top because it makes it easier to use my remote for my bed <laughs> without having to like... So that's what I use it for right now. But, you know whatever. Next thing I have is kind of big. I have two things pretty similar, but the first one is like a shelf. Two shelves. I love this like rust ring here from like a glass of something. I don't know. I, I love it. And then there's a second shelf and then there's like a hanging bar. Um, in my last house, I had this hanging up in my bathroom next to my like vanity sink and I had it decorated all cute with some turtles and some flowers and then I had all my necklaces hanging from this and I kept them all really organized and untangled and I love that I don't know if I'll do the same thing like when I decorate it the next time but I I loved it it really it's something different it looks really cool and again metal green night like natural tones I just I'm all about it I'm here for it oh. It's like 2 in the morning here. I can't be dropping stuff that heavy. <laughs> okay, so the next thing I have is another shelf. Again, it hangs on the wall. It does have the hangers on the back, so I know it's meant to be on the wall. But it is like this baby pink color. I don't know how that's going to translate on camera. But again, just two shelves. Um, this one is like a wicker, just painted. Ouch. Oh, got caught on my shirt. But yeah, I thought it was really cute. And it kind of reminds me of the green one. And then the next thing I have is they are these pink and gold like marbled um, dishes. I have it's a whole set, so I'm not going to be able to show you the whole set together. But I have two of these, one of these. They go around it like the, like I just showed you. They fit around here, and then I have a little pour cup. Like I said, it's late here. I need to be quiet. And then there's like a little sugar bowl, I guess. Like, would that be like a cream bowl and this is like a sugar bowl? I don't know. But yeah, lid comes off. Very beautiful. I love the whole set. I actually think at one point there was supposed to be like a third one of these so that they all went around here. And I've actually found some of these on eBay, so I don't think these are that old, but they are very beautiful. And I love the pink and the gold, and I just thought they'd be really cute to like serve on, like if I'm entertaining people and want to bring out the fancy dishes. <laughs> Let me mess up my background for a second. This the mirror, I used it, like I used like an alcohol pad to clean it last, so I got some makeup on it, so it's very dingy. But it's just a like, um, like a bamboo braided natural fiber mirror tray. And I keep it on my vanity here. And then the next thing I want to show you is this umbrella so it's this pink umbrella glass deep inside it's got like the little handle on it and like i said i keep it on my vanity with my makeup brushes in it and i love it i think it's really cute and different i've never seen anything like it so i got it and i think it works perfect to what i use it for <sighs> okay well that was everything and if you are still here you deserve a prize or a snack or something good because that was a long video and i'm tired and my throat hurts and it's late and 
anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Like I said, I would love to see stuff that you found at thrift stores or stuff that you have that you think I might like or even if you don't think I'd like it, I'd still like to see it because I love seeing unique stuff that people find or seeing everybody's different taste in decor. So please, like, find my social media down below and send me links, or not links, send me pictures or stories of stuff that you found because I would love to see them. So please send them to me. Anyway, if you want, you can subscribe to my channel. I post stuff like this um, pretty regularly. I have other videos and I do other style videos too, so if you want, you can go ahead and check out the rest of my videos just to see what I'm all about, see if you'd be interested in hanging out sometime. <laughs> but anyway, I think I'm getting a little delusional. Like I said, it's pretty late. I probably said that like three times now. But anyway, before this video gets any longer than it already is, I'm going to go ahead and jump off here. So I hope you guys have a good day or night or whatever time it is when you're watching this, and I will see you guys next time.